you guys welcome back to my channel cosmic royal family it's me mystic beauty and how you guys doing howdy <laughs> okay so i have a message i have a channel message for you guys okay there's gonna be someone from your past um that did leave you they did this person left without a word um, you invested a couple years into this relationship. This is not if you only knew this person for a year or, you know, like for some of you guys, not even two years. Like you really did invest into this situation with this person. I feel like this person could have, you know, um, led you on. They made you guys feel like it was just going to be you and them. Okay. I feel like initially when you met this person, it's just things were just very, very perfect. You believe the things that they said to you. You guys believe that you guys are going to be together with this person forever and ever and ever. Okay. Okay. So this person has been watching you. They've been, I'm, I'm not even going to call it stalking. You know, I ain't going to necessarily say they passing by your house unless this person know where you stay, but they definitely keep very, very close tabs on you. This person is in their feelings. This person is angry. Like I'm picking up like a lot of resentment. Um, the way that your life has turned out, the way that you are, how you have not, a, you have not allowed this situation with them like whatever they did to you you guys did not allow that to change your heart it you didn't allow that to turn you bitter it actually made you better this it, it, it just bothered this person it's it's the weirdest thing you know and if you have spoken with this person um recently within the past couple months it's like this person was like going out of their way to try to hurt you say awful things to try to hurt you or Make you feel like they're they done moved on, they dealing with other people, life is great, you know. But actually, this person is pretty miserable. It's 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 actually quite pathetic. All this person do is sit up, they talk about you to anybody that'll listen at this point. I'm hearing that this person tried to like justify or rationalize or whatever like they did not want to take accountability they they tried to justify their actions and their behaviors to others but other people already know that this person is a liar like i feel like you know the gig is up okay it's up this person want to come back in your life because of what you have this person want to come back in your life because they currently they're lacking stability this person is unstable due to karma. They're unstable due to karma that they have already put out there. So it's like, this isn't just the universe is doing this person bad. You know, this is, this person has been screwing over people for so long. So this is energy that they've already put out there. And it's like, they are reaping this energy and it's like draining them. Like think, like if you have stolen money from people, you know, just trick people, scam people out of money. And now it's your reaping season. So now you can't keep money. People keep scamming you out of money. It's slipping off your sleeve everywhere. You lose your job, struggling to pay your bills. Like this person is struggling. They're, they're going through financially. You know, their thing is not together as they're trying to make it seem. Okay. They don't want you to know this though. Okay, like this is why they're they have been keeping their distance from you. They don't want you to know that it's not as it seems. They don't have it all together. They didn't get that trophy lifestyle that they thought that they were gonna get when they left you. When they just remember just ghost that you just stopped texting you back, stop answering your phone calls. You know, when they did that awful thing to you where you know they um they just kind of disappeared. You know, this person thought that they were going, going to get like this big prize or this perfect lifestyle after that. This person's actually coming off as energetically superficial. They don't know love. This person did not know love. They didn't know love until they met you because you guys do embody a very powerful uh, frequency of love. Okay, you're very close to God. You pray a lot. Even if a lot of people don't know this openly about you, 
you know, behind the scenes, you really do get it in. You do pray a lot. And this is where this person dropped the ball at. This is where the worst thing they could have did was to mess over someone who has a very close relationship, very genuine relationship with God, okay? What Spirit is telling me is, don't let this person come through with their one pinnacle, their one weasley, measly ass pinnacle. I'm talking about this pinnacle, this offer is so small, like it's so weak, it need an asthma pump. It, it can barely hold it together, okay? This person want to come back to you after the world has, like, fuck them like literally like drag them this person's been through it like they ain't got nothing they ain't got nothing that they had when you guys were talking like the like their karma has really did them in that they, they literally like gave the best of themselves to the streets and people men and women in the world right men, men and women of the world got the best of this person now that they're broke down mentally physically spiritually and emotionally they're, they don't have nothing to bring to the table, but their last little pinnacle. This is all they got. This is it. Now, when they had it all, they didn't want to give you nothing. And they actually possibly had to borrow this pinnacle from somebody else so that they can come and present it to you. Mind you, Spirit is telling me that you guys have nine pinnacles. You guys have been planting the appropriate seeds at the appropriate times. You have been faithful in prayer. You guys have been very genuine. You guys are very genuine, okay? Even when nobody's looking, because that's what matters. Screw what you do when people are looking. Anybody could put on a show, but you guys are truly, truly genuine people um, when nobody's looking, but God saw it. And this is why this is your good harvest season, okay? This is why you guys are in the Nine of Pentacles energy or you're about to be in the Nine of Pentacles energy because of your sacrifices and because of your genuine pure heart, okay? So this person want to come through and they want to bring that one pinnacle to add to your Nine Pentacles thinking that they're going to make you complete. They feel like that you're incomplete without them. But this person is really incomplete without you. You guys need to remember that. Be very, very careful of uh, who you guys let back in your life, regardless if this is a love partner or not. Be careful of who you let back in your life, okay? Because you guys have really worked hard to build your life to how you want it, to get your mental, physical, spiritual, emotional space and energy back to where you have it now to grow your finances to start this business it took dedication right and divine blessings might i add okay yeah so this person just they just want to come after they just left you hanging left you out to dry they just want to come and just bring you um, like the scraps they think that their one pinnacle with your nine of pinnacles is gonna it, yeah it'll make 10 pinnacles but you've already done all the work you've already pulled like you've done the most you know and spirit your ancestors god none of them think that's fair it's not fair it's not all right be very careful be very very careful of people wanting to come back into your life with nothing to offer, but they, but expecting everything from you. All right. Nothing to offer yet. Expecting everything from you. I'm going to pull one card from here and I'm going to pull one card from here and I'm going to wrap this up. All right, go ahead and give me page of pinnacles. Like I said, they want to come in with this one pinnacle. Thank you. Holy spirit page of pinnacles. rushing in night energy they want to come rushing in quickly with nothing to offer you this person has absolutely nothing to offer you at all four pinnacles in reverse so this they they release you in the past this is somebody who just who let you go 
they walked away from you. Give me one more. I said I wasn't gonna. Yeah, and this is why Spirit is saying that it's okay to be a little cutthroat with this person. It's okay to be, I ain't saying cold, but the king, the queen of swords is kind of cold, right? Set boundaries with this person, please. Please, because they want to come through. They want to come through and offer you a page. Just like I said, they want to give you the bare minimum. You know, that's like an apology just because they feel like that's this is telling, telling you what you want to hear type of energy, okay? Thinking that that's going to be good enough. No, bucko, that's not good enough. It's not good enough, okay? <laughs> You're going to have to get a mop and mop the ocean. Then we can talk. It better not be a drop of water out there. <laughs> anyway, give me one more. One more for the for the collective Holy Spirit. Some of you guys need to do some protection rituals for yourself. Look at that. Wow, you guys are powerful. And look at that. Speaking of protection rituals, protect your money. Look at that. That's a pinnacle. It says pinnacle and respect. Yeah, listen. Make this person respect you. Okay, protect your money, protect your stability, protect it. All right, you guys, if you haven't been into your manifestation with the wishes hat and power, you need to do so. You need to make sure that you are constantly manifesting, doing things that's going to energetically um, bring more, more blessings into your life. But also they want you guys to protect your finances from this person because that's what they want. Look at that guardian energy. Guard yourself. You guys have guardians around you too, protective energy, but guard yourself. Guard guard your blessings from this person because they, they, they not right. This person is not right. Give me one more. I said one card. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> autumn energy. So something may happen this autumn. Could be a new beginning if you want it. I feel like this person may try to come back to you this autumn. And grounding spirit is saying take time this autumn to get grounded get reconnected into the universe okay because guess what you are prepping for your next harvest now this it's important for you guys to get grounded you see the field that's harvest time and they're telling me you're going to receive a really good harvest this fall for what you planted the last time okay all right seeds that you've sown the last time so i hope this message finds whoever needed remember don't let nobody trick you, baby. All right? Don't let nobody come in with no small page of pinnacles, one offer. Don't let nobody come in your life with they shit with they shit in a trash bag when you done bust your ass for a beautiful home, you know, or a beautiful apartment or whatever you got. Whatever you got, you work hard for it. Don't let nobody come back in your life and they can get all that shit in the trash bag. And they want to come back with this weak apology. No, no, send them back from where they come from, okay? And just wait on God. Wait on God to give you the biggest offer of all. Actually, God is gonna complete you anyway. If you're the nine of pentacles, the way spirit is telling me, God is that last pinnacle. God is gonna fulfill you and give you everything, trust me. It ain't nothing that that person in that two trash bags and a Ziploc bag with a toothbrush in it can give you, okay? Because karma done took everything from them. No. Peace.